Since 2014, SNV has been implementing the results-based financing for rural market development of off-grid solar in Tanzania, known as RBF. This project is part of the Global Energizing Development Results-Based Financing Facility. The objective of the NDEV RBF in Tanzania is to provide quality solar products for poor rural and off-grid households. Implemented in two stages between 2014 and 2020, the program deploys financial incentives to selected solar product suppliers for verified sales of small-scale, quality-certified solar products in rural Tanzania. The fund is managed and housed at Tanzania Investment <laughs> Bank, TIB. Product incentives by the fund range from small solar lanterns used for lighting or phone charging to larger solar home systems with TVs or other small appliances. One company has even addressed the need for solar fishing lights on the fishing boats of Lake Victoria. At the close of the second stage in September 2020, the program has supported sales of 128,000 solar products, translating to over half a million persons with access to solar energy. The project works by engaging solar firms in the fund with a results-based incentive scheme that rewards verified sales made in more remote and vulnerable regions of Tanzania. First, SNV advertises a call for solar suppliers to apply to the fund. Firms submit the application and due diligence is performed to ensure they meet eligibility criteria, including that their products are Verisol quality certified. Selected firms sign contracts and are given the operational guidelines of the fund which explain how incentives are calculated, earned, and dispersed. Firms make sales in the eligible regions and submit their claims to SNV and TIB, who manage a rigorous third-party verification exercise. Once sales are verified, the incentives are paid out to the solar firms. By the second stage of the program, SNV had designed the Vulnerability Access Index, or VI. The VI is comprised of two key components, socioeconomic risk factors, and RBF market performance. Regions with greater socioeconomic risk and lower solar market performance have a high VI rating. Higher incentives were provided for sales in regions with higher VI level. Higher VI regions can be seen in red or orange, moving to lower VI regions in yellow on the map. The theory of change is that solar firms will take the VI ratings into account while strategically planning their expansion efforts throughout the country. Perhaps deciding to expand into more challenging markets, knowing they'll receive a high incentive, which could potentially cover the increased risk of entering these markets. After one year of implementing the VI, there was a notable shift in sales numbers from lower VI level regions to higher VI level regions. This is a strong indication of the VI approach being effective in fulfilling its role as a pro-poor approach. Tumejitahidi kutarget zaidi yale maeneo ambayo yana changamoto za kimaendeleo kubwa wale region managers tumetafuta wale ambao ni wazuri wanaweza kufanya kazi nzuri zaidi tukaweka kwenye yale maeneo ambayo yana changamoto za kimaendeleo ili kama kampuni tuweze faidika na ikani. We decided to expand to Kigoma because uh, the purchasing power of Kigoma is more aligned in the smaller products or smaller lanterns rather than uh, home systems. Solar system. Wanga, tumaini, fusa. RBF has been very helpful in supporting us in expansion and operation. We have been able to recruit entrepreneurs and, and recruit staff. In the first several months of the global COVID-19 pandemic, sales of off-grid solar products declined significantly. Firms experienced disruption to the operations, ranging from suspended rural supply chain delivery channels to increased customer payment default rates. To address this, NDEV contracted SNV to establish a national off-grid solar green economic recovery fund known as the GRF. The GRF builds upon successfully established RBF mechanisms to support recovery of solar firms at a national scale. The Vulnerability Access Index is attuned to include expanded COVID-19 economic impact parameters. This ensures that the vulnerable regions experiencing the greatest economic downturns due to the pandemic receive higher incentives. 
After five months of implementation, the GRF has engaged nine firms into the fund and supported sales of over 70,000 solar units. Kulingana na kipindi hiki cha corona, lakini mimi biashara yangu inaendelea vizuri. Ninashukuru sana kwa hili kampuni. Umetuwezesha wa mama. Japokuwa kuna changamoto ya corona, naenda kwenye shughuli zangu kama hivyo ninavyopata kazi naenda nafanya ili singe kuepo mabiso uh, maisha yangu kwa kweli yangekuwa magumu sana when the covid pandemic started every business was affected but for us we managed to retain most of our our fundies that were doing business for us most of the agent that were um, doing sales for our products because knowing that we were being refunded of the investment that we were making into the market we really managed to keep going keep selling keep saving our customers and keep the business going hapa nimefunga panel ya watu 200 natumia ta lakini pia natumia TV ya Mobiso kwa ajili ya biashara ya mpira hizi ndipo na mwanga wake kwanza ni mkali halafu tunaleta mboga ambazo ni samaki kwa wingi kwa mfano kama hapa sasa hivi kakurugusi hapa tunaangalia taarifa habari mke wangu ana upande wa kupika watoto kujisomea kwa tunatumia mafuta ta kwa siku labda 1300 kwenye soko la bei ni nzuri kwa sababu kwa siku nalipa labda 800 au 1100 na unapewa mwanga walio kuja kunifungia sola kwa kweli huduma yao ni nzuri kuna ushirikiano mkubwa sana hata kama nikiona kuna shida yoyote imetokea nikipiga tu simu anafika anarekebisha The RBF and GRF have proven to be an effective means of supporting a pro poor approach reaching more remote and vulnerable regions of Tanzania with access to solar energy by building on an already proven RBF approach emergency funding from the German government was able to be quickly deployed to aid in the recovery efforts of the economic crisis brought on by the global pandemic. SNV and NDEV will continue to find ways to drive results and meet the challenge of our times while bringing affordable quality solar energies to the communities who need it the most. <laughs>